Hi, Mark Anthony here to give you a little class about how to boil and freeze potatoes. And it's a pretty easy concept to do. Right here, I've got some boiled potatoes. They've been boiling. In fact, I'm gonna shut these off right now and uh, because they're done. And all you have to do is put a knife in them and if they go through nice and smooth, you know they're done. If they've got a little resistance, then you're gonna wanna cook them a little bit longer. And uh, normally I have this pretty full. I've already done a batch because I wanna show you how this works, uh, the best way to, to do potatoes. Boil them off and then put them on a pan and let them cool. And after they're on a pan, and we let these cool overnight sometimes, you can throw them in a garage if it's in the middle of winter, uh, in the refrigerator, that type of thing. But uh, we're just gonna let them cool. And then after they're cool, they're nice and tight. And then you can start cutting them up and look at how tight they are. And that's what you're looking for. In fact, let me get my gloves on here. And I just thought this would be a cool, you gotta do this because a lot of my recipes actually use these uh, type of potatoes. And uh, it's just such a fabulous way to do these. Now you can make potato salad with these. In fact, I'll show you, I'll have to do a segment real quick just on potatoes. And uh, so there's different ways you can slice them and dice them. A lot of times what I do is I cut it in half and then I'm just doing one slice like this. And if you get a little bad piece like that, you can just pull that out of there. Um, but a lot of times that is the slice that I'm doing, just so it's like a half slice, just cut in half and sliced and the easy, easy way. Sometimes I get to the end here, I'm just gonna go like this, and then I got my flat spot, so I can go again, and it's very organized and structured. The fastest way you can get them done, just go like that, boom. So once you get them all cut up, then the next thing we're gonna do is bag them. And of course, I've got my label on the bag and everything, uh, potatoes, and I've got it dated. Uh, if you get them dated in, labeled that's always good to do that before the potatoes go in the bag uh, because if uh, <laughs> a little difficult to write on the bag when it's filled with a bunch of potatoes so we're going to go like this and these are going to go right in the bag and i got my wet and dry towel here wet and dry towel and uh, then we're going to bag these up now i'm kind of closing it from each end here and then when it gets right here, I still got an opening in the center. And then I'm gonna squeeze the oxygen out of the potato bag. As much as I can, we're just pressing down and then I'm gonna close this baby up. And boom, you got a good seal on it. There you go, potatoes, ready to go. Now what I do with these is I put them in the freezer all stacked up like this so here's one here's one what i would do is actually freeze this either on the bottom or the top doing a rotation because i'll always have it rotated when it comes uh, into the freezer and there i've got so many recipes that are going to pull this block out and thaw it out and boom you've got your uh, recipe so this is what you want and we'll have a stack of these in the freezer in fact i'll show you on one of my clips how my freezers organized that'd be a really good tool for you to have but let me tell you potatoes are so healthy for you you can do different varieties if you want red potatoes you know whatever you want to do but um, that's the way to do it get them in the freezer and that way they're ready to just serve immediately pull them out make hash browns make uh, potato salad soups you know, you can peel the skins off of them. I like the skins because they got nutrients in them. Uh, so I never peel the skins for, at home for ourselves. Uh, and sometimes if I'm doing a little fancy artwork for you, then I, and then I do that type of thing. Uh, but other than that, that's the way I do them. So there's a little quick lesson about potatoes, freezing them. Make sure your knife goes through them nice and smooth. You're gonna air dry them so that they'll tighten up and, uh, and then they're ready to make into potato salads and freeze them and things like that. So, Anyway, Mark Anthony here. Keep watching those videos, share them with your friends, and we've got a lot more valuable, intelligent information to show you how to function better in your kitchen. That's what this is all about. And once you design your kitchen and you've got the right product where it needs to be, man, it is so easy to eat healthy in the kitchen. So this is Mark Anthony. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time in the kitchen.